Okay guys, just another quick, I should say short uh, video here on this carving. You know the other day when I showed you this carving and how disappointed I was in it. Well, I got several uh, comments. Some suggestive that were good, some were just, well, okay. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, one of the guys mentioned that he thought it might be an XY problem. And I got to thinking about it, well, it could be because I just guesstimated as close as I could down here in the corner for my XY. So what I did, I carved this one today. It's still not perfect, a long ways from it, but it is tremendously better than this side. Now, what's the difference? Well, I went in before I started right down here in the lower bottom. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me get over here. I dropped my bit down and drilled just a small little indentation or a hole there. And when I came back with my second bit change, I made sure that that second bit was uh, centered in that hole. And you can see much better results this time, but it still, still has its problems. I'm still getting a lot of uneven carving in through here. A little fringe material left here and over here on this side uh, it's still not right and I still got down here in the bull's horn at the bull's head there's stuff left where it carved but it didn't carve it out completely so I really don't know what the problem is I don't know if I just want to just give up totally on this dual carving and or I had a couple of suggestions uh, from people. There's a product on the market, I forget the name of it now, but it's a little magic box that sets up your X, your Y, and your Z. The three axes together sets the zero for those three axes. I looked it up online, I think it was $60. Uh, I think I'll invest $60. Order that product and uh, try it again after that product's arrived because the fellows that told me about that product say that they have absolutely no problem with dual carving uh, using that product. I keep saying that product because I forget the name of it right now. There's a little gray box so I think this evening I'll go online and order that and when it comes in I'll hook it up and set it up and uh, try again. So, just thought I'd show you that. Like I said, this is a marked improvement over this side, which was totally messed up. This side is just messed up. Not totally. It's a marked improvement over the other side, but it still, still leaves a lot to be desired for dual carving. I would like to get that figured out because I've got a lot of these I want to make college things, states like the University of Texas and the Texas A&M and several other universities here in the state being from texas uh, uh lean toward that but i can you know do any state louisiana mississippi it didn't matter whatever state the uh university has to be located in i can do that but i kind of like this idea of carving down carving out the state or doing what i call what i refer to as dual carving uh, uh, but uh, I kind of like that and leaving the letters stand proud and uh, I can only assume the reason the university didn't carve out any better I probably should have used my smaller smaller bit on that but I use the smallest one I have right now either make the text larger or just go to UT and just make a big UT in there UT which stands for of course University of Texas San Longhorn but we'll see. In the meantime, that'll be it for now. And uh, as soon as I get that other product in and uh, hook it up and do a test carving, I'll come back and show you the results. And we can compare. I'll hang on to this piece of wood and we'll compare and see see the difference. If, if there's going to be a difference, I'm assuming so, because these fellas told me that uh, they had absolutely no problem with the... Uh, dual carve uh, using that product so 
I guess that's going to be my solution for now. So that's it for now. We'll be back with you again shortly. For now, this is the DIY slash CNC woodworker. We will talk to you again soon. Hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.